so, yeah, make sure your nails are nice and short. All right. Where were we? Boy, oh boy, shepherds, hey, let's get on with it. Gosh. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Number four. Groovy. Okay. So I'm going to just get straight into that rule. I'm not going to play any open strings on this one. Uh, let's give it a go. process is to play the fifth fret for uh, on uh, the string when it would have otherwise been an open string um, then you're going to start moving around a fair bit like I was then you'll notice this part the first part of shepherd's hay okay that's a fair amount of moving around so what you you'll start having to do is go, well, wait a minute. There's got to be a better position to play this in. Okay. So for example, if I wanted to play D, E flat, F, that's so much easier. And I can play it down there. So it's up to you to, uh, to do that, the, the work on trying to um, you know, start playing up your neck. You don't always have to play down here in first position. Okay? What tends to happen is that we get used to first position and then all of a sudden we get some high notes and we just go, I don't know what note I'm playing here. Oh, now I'm good. Good again. You know, back to first position. And then you get to oh, anything from a D above, you go, of that. <laughs> so what we need to start doing is playing in different positions. So for Shepherd's Hay, I want you to start up here, put your first finger on the D. Okay, with the D, which is the fifth fret on the A string, and go from there. Now, the C, I'm actually playing eighth fret on the E string instead of If you are having trouble as to, well, where is that note on my fretboard? Well, I've got to, it's pretty easy. If you know first position really well, the note's in first position, all you have to do is just add five. Okay, so I'm playing a C here. It's the third fret on the A string, C. We should all know that note. Okay, now if I want to play C up my neck, I'm going to play it on the E string. I just go, well, third fret, add five. Three plus five equals eight. So my eighth fret, boom, there you go. And it's easy to know where the eight is because my dots are on three, five, seven, nine, twelve. Okay? So I go, oh, there's seven, there's eight. Okay. So uh, I want you to do one now. Everyone play a B flat on your A string. One should have the uh, first fret on the A string. Pretty much the first note you've probably learned. <laughs> okay. Now, where is B flat on your E string? Where is the B flat on your E string? Now, if you had the sixth fret on the E string, you would be right. Okay. One. Add five, six. Okay. Let's do another one. Uh, let's try F. Okay, the F on the third fret of the D string. Easy. Now, if I wanted to play F up my neck board, okay, on the A string, we've got the third fret, three plus five equals eight. 
So just experiment with that. Now if you wanted to go even further up, you could add another five again and do another, uh, go a string lower. Okay, so F on the third fret, add five is the eighth fret. Add five again, eight plus five equals 13. So, 13th fret. Right. I know where 13 is because that is 12. The double dot is 12. Okay. Alrighty. So, for Shepherd's Hay, you could play it like this. smoother sound, I can get my notes connected, okay, the end of one note, the beginning of the next, like that, okay, so it's smooth, okay, the minute that I have gaps in between each note, it, it gets a bit lumpy, alrighty, and you will never be able to get faster if you're lumpy, okay, it's got to be smooth. Alright folks, that is the end of the lesson, I want you to work on those things, um, have a look at one, two, three, four, again maybe, without any open strings. And if you need to change position, give it a go. Maybe if you don't need to change position, give it a go and see how you go. Alrighty? Thank you. See you later. Uh, 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 whoops.